Hello MMIO fam, so I'm going to introduce a new feature where you would be able to create a chatbot automatically using AI. So first, let's go to Facebook and Instagram and then Chatbot Flow Builder. And here you can see a new button. So this would enable you to build a chatbot using AI. So currently it only works for Messenger and Instagram but we will be rolling out this feature for other channels as well. So let's build a new flow using AI. So just click AI Auto Build Flow. And then we are going to add our details here. Okay, so I have already added all the details. So the first, you need to enter your flow name. And then here, you are going to define your context data. So the context data, that is where the flow will get the data it will base the flow from here. So you can add the business name, hair salon or whatever that you needed, um, that you think would be needed for the flow. Just put it in here. So example for a hair salon. Okay, I added the programs. Example, we have program one, hair only, and we added the price. And then program two, program three, program four. So. Basically, we have four products here. And then I added the booking URL if you needed to have a booking system. Okay, so the contact number and then we have the terms of service. We have added that on the context data as well. And then lastly, you need to define the purpose of the bot. So here, um, I stated that the, uh, the purpose of the bot is where users can view programs view terms and conditions, talk to agent, and book a scheduled service. So it's really up to you what you want here. Just define the primary objective of the flow. And after that, once you are done with the setup, you can click confirm, and then AI will generate the structure for you. So note that we are using GPT-4 here. So uh, the thing with GPT-4 is it's really slow to generate the content. So you have to wait for a while for the content for the chatbot structure to be completed. So it will be um, auto-incremented. It will be generated parts by part. So let's wait for a while until the chatbot structure generation is complete. All right, so time check, it's almost a minute. And we have already generated 699 parts. I just want to um, clarify that the parts generated here is not the chatbot node or the chatbot element is actually the code, okay, the, the structure, the JSON code of the chatbot. So it is generated part by part. So um, it does not actually mean that you have 781 elements in the flow, but it is the characters of the JSON code that is being generated. So we are not yet complete. So let's just wait for another while. Okay, great. So we have already completed the chatbot generation. All we have to do now is click OK. All right, so we are now on the chatbot interface. And as you can see, the chatbot was automatically generated for us. So here is the carousel of our services. And we have here um, TNC meaning terms and conditions. And this is the um, the message if people wants to contact the hair salon. So remember, this is the number that I added on the context data. And here is the Calendly or the web URL that I added. So it used that data to build your flow. So currently, it cannot um, create really huge flow because of the token limitation by OpenAI. So we are limited by the number of tokens and generating a chatbot really is using a lot of tokens. So note that the generation of the chatbot would not yield the same, uh, the same structure every time. So it is dynamic. Maybe um, once you create a, a chatbot using AI, you would have another structure or if you build using the same prompt, you it would yield another result. So if you wanted this result, you can just save this flow and that would become your um, the setup or basically you can use this as starting point of your flow. 
so that you wouldn't have to start from scratch. And sometimes if you generate the flow, the carousel would have buttons here and it will be, uh, you, it will become an intricate flow. Sometimes it's a simple flow. It really depends on the AI, um, on, on, on what the AI will generate at that moment. So if you want to build another flow, you can just, um, do another prompt, maybe have, have a little tweak on your prompt so that it will generate, um, more complex, um, flow. Okay, so here is another version that was generated by the AI for Instagram using the very same prompt. So I will open this up and as you can see, um, it generated a more complex um, bot. So it really depends on the AI, what type of chatbot flow that it is going to generate at, at, at a given time. So. It, I like this flow better that was generated by the flow from Instagram. So here are the details and the programs, terms and conditions, book appointment. So all of the details that I want for this bot was created. It's already in here. So I was a little amazed how accurate the bot followed the instructions. And here we are. We have a chat bot specifically for um, Instagram using the very same prompt. So uh, that's how powerful the AI builder for MMIO. Yeah, this is how it works. And as you can see, just a few clicks, I didn't have to type anything. The AI created the chat bot for me. So it is a huge time saver, especially if you're a newbie and you're just starting out in your flow and you have no idea what to do or where to start. You can use the AI flow builder of MMIO to get you started. So I hope this feature is helpful for you guys. So that's it. Peace.